Hey, what's going on, guys? I have Studios here from the Cinema 4D tutorial. Today, I'm teaching you guys how to create a cool pearlescent material with some really nice reflections and glow. And yeah, it's gonna be good. Um, it's gonna be really cool. Something cool for your models or cool material. Uh, anyway, let's get started. So I think we're gonna do our lighting first. Now you can do um, two things for your lighting. You can spend your own time. I don't know, maybe 10-15 minutes setting up a bunch of octane area lights and do some nice lighting. Or you can go the lazy way and just add in HDR. So I'm going to do the lazy quick way for the sake of this tutorial. And I'm just going to add in some HDR lighting. So um, yeah, we'll do that first. Add an object texture environment. Object HDR environment. And go your texture environment. Uh, let's see right there. RGB spectrum. And just set that to completely black. Head back and make it the visible environment. Make sure you check that. Uh, make sure you switch it to that. Okay, we're going to go back to our HDR environment. HDR I environment. <laughs> And uh, we're going to load in the HDRI. Uh, I have, it's just a train station um, um, HDRI night. Um, so it's pretty nice, but use whatever HDRI you, you think looks good. Uh, and we'll turn on the um, Octane. Octane render. There we go. Um, and before we go any further, we're going to deal with our Octane render settings. So, channel, path tracing. It's not necessary for this just model, but I'm still going to keep it on because I like it more. Um, and we're going to. Okay, kernels, path tracing. So. We're going to do a few things here. We're going to do a lot of things. We're going to set our parallel samples to 16, our max samples, max tile samples to 32. Sorry, excuse me. Uh, and we're going to go ahead and, let's see here, camera imager. Uh, we're going to do a bit of vignetting. So yeah, I don't think that's all we need to do there. Uh, for post-processing, bloom, yes. Glare, yes, quite a bit. Uh, ray, uh, ray amount, yes, uh, eight. And glare blur, yes, lots of it. <laughs> I uh, love myself some glare and bloom. Uh, Alright, and finally, the render priority is going to be set to high for best performance. Okay, the next thing we're going to do is we're going to make our actual material. So, um, let's see, I'm going to move that down a bit there. And I'm going to move it a bit closer. Um, Alright, so, uh, shader, C4D Octane, Octane Material. We'll apply that to our skull here. Um... And uh, we're not going to use node editor. We don't need to. Okay, material type glossy. So we're going to go from the top to the bottom. Diffuse, set it to black. Um, specular, whatever. Roughness, set the roughness to 0 0.24 ish. Around there is, is probably good. Maybe I'll do 0 0.2. I'll do 0 0.2. That's probably good. And the film width, um, this is very key. We're going to set that to 0 0.1. Uh, and that'll already have, it already has a really cool, like, I don't know, bluish tint to the sides. I really already like how it's looking. Uh, and the film index. This um, this controls what colors are being refracted, like or what colors are being um, controlled or changed. So you can see this looks like good, um, really like dark um, purple blue. You know, maybe change it up. That gives really cool like that. And um, really, it's up to you guys. But uh, we're gonna actually take this film index and we're gonna bring it down. Let's see here. I'll, do, I'll just do point, yeah, 0 0.1 is probably good. Oh yeah, film index, changing this, whatever. We're going to set it to 1, I think. Yeah, I'll set it to 1. And um, gives us a lot of colors here. It's a bit dark, so that's what, something you'll notice when you're working with um, pearlescent materials, is you probably want to brighten your HDRI a lot. A lot more than you at first expect. So here, how does that look? It looks pretty good already. Uh, and our index of refraction, we're going to bring that up to about 1.5, I think. You know, you can tweak that, maybe try 1.4, 1.6, and that's about good. Uh, and I think that's pretty much it. Maybe a bit more roughness is what we need. Um, film index. Let's see here. Yeah, change the film index. Um, changing the film index, as you increase it, you'll get a more dense amount of... Um, Different color banding. Uh, as we decrease it, we'll get very not so dense amount. But um, yeah, point one is about good. Uh, yeah, so we're gonna. I think we'll play with the film index a bit. How does? Yeah, I like this a lot. Um, you can change it to whatever color you want, but let's just do one. Uh, and it'll give us a more diverse amount of colors. I think we'll tweak our bloom and stuff a bit now. I think we'll do that. Octane. Um, what's the bloom? Need more bloom. 
think we'll do just like that. I love myself some blue. So 120. Uh, and the glare. Yeah, 0.8 is probably good. Uh, re amount. Yeah, glare angle. Whatever. It doesn't really matter. Um, yeah, I think that's all we need to do. Maybe the spectral intensity. Ooh, that'd be interesting. This one, maybe a bit of spectral intensity. So you're just like, I don't know. Point. Uh, 0 0.025 I'll do just a very small amount and special shift that eh, doesn't seem to make too much, of too much of a difference we'll just leave it at like 2.5 um, that's pretty much what we need to do there yeah um, maybe playing around with this a bit but uh, yeah too specular alright um, yeah, that's pretty much it for this tutorial. Um, so yeah, that's how you make a pearlescent material. So yeah, um, thanks for watching everyone. If you enjoyed the video, leave a like, subscribe to my channel to support me. And um, yeah, I'll see you guys later. Bye!